saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and Hogwarts Legacy is a game coming out on the PS5 next year that I'm suddenly very excited to play. I had no interest in playing this game before. By the way, I don't know if you guys picked up during the Harry Potter reactions, I might have played it down, played it down a little bit, but I was before I watched these movies on this channel, I was a pretty big Harry Potter hater. I used to really really like hate on Harry Potter. I used to, like, it was like my go-to like nerd stereotype kind of thing. But my partner, she loved it. And we watched the, um, there was like a gameplay thing that came out a few months ago. We actually watched that together. I remembered nothing because I hadn't seen the movies yet. So we're going to have another look at the, uh, I don't know if it's the same trailer, but we're going to have a look at the uh, Hogwarts Legacy Darkness official trailer. The touring of the all four common rooms and uh, the Hogwarts Legacy is like a big gameplay thing. But I'll edit this down to all the, the juicy bits. Before we get to that though, I have to debut this on the channel because I am absolutely pumped over the moon. He's sitting right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the figure shelf. Snape. Snape. Cerverus Snape. 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 Cerverus Snape. <laughs> Fuck off, Dumbledore! Leave me alone, motherfucker. But I got Snape! SH Figure Arts figure, and this thing is just amazing. I'll put up a bunch of proper photos of it. Oh my god, I'm in love with that figure. It is just perfect. And as always, all hell Snape. But let's check out Hogwarts Legacy Darkness, the official trailer. I'm so... I'm gonna be slithering as fuck in this game. I understand you have a shop to sell. I think you will find my terms quite generous. Okay. What's the catch? You are wise to be wary. Why is your mistress selling the shop? She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Oh, don't hear. This girl is Ravenclaw. I don't want Ravenclaw. I want Slytherin. Just could not see to escape the darkness. So that not that the room of uh, requirement with the dummies in there? Watch your step. Watch your step? You watch your step. Trailer, give me some Slytherin. <laughs> Live the unwritten. That trailer was pretty meh. I thought we were going to get Slytherin in there because they were talking about the darkness. Um, I didn't recognize much from that trailer there, so let's have a look at the all four common rooms tour for Hogwarts Legacy. Let me know in the comments if you've heard about this, if you've watched any of this stuff, because I love my video games and... Uh, yeah, my partner, I remember her being super pumped when she watched the trailer like six months ago. Alright, what do we got here? Gryffindor. Is that McGonagall on the picture there? Man, this is going to be so cool having the portraits there. Yeah, Gryffindor. Oh, okay. This is going to be a perfect opportunity to have this conversation. Let's have a look at Slytherin's homeroom, shall we? Apparently they live in the dungeon, according to everybody in the comments. And they all think that that means it's okay that McGonagall sent them to the dungeon. She wasn't sending them to their homeroom. She was sending them to the dungeon. It is also a dungeon. You got a pretty fancy pants uh, common room there, Gryffindor. I will admit. <gasps> Somebody told me that the um, guy who does the uh, b -b 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 the thing, the um, the the commentary for uh, Quidditch, another goal for Slytherin. That guy. Somebody told me that it's Magnitude. Pop pop. Oh my god, I, I was floored at that information. I hope that's true. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. It does look a little bit dungeony. Who we got? What do we got here? We got a nice little fireplace with some snake action and some skulls. I always said that the skull in the sky made me feel, um, uh, you know, 
warm and fuzzy and safe. So now we've got skulls near the fireplace. Classic Slytherin. Was there a... Is that... Oh, it's like a little spiky thing. I thought there was a skeleton hand giving the bird in that fireplace. Can you see what I can see? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Like a little wormy guy there. This is a ballin' uh, common room, by the way. This right here looks like a hip-hop music video. <laughs> we do hang out in the dungeon, don't we? <laughs> Poor Slytherin, always getting the rough end of the stick. Oh! Fuck yeah, that's it! Bit of chess. A sophisticated game. Alright, I'm digging Slytherin's uh, common room. Looks awesome. And just because it's a dungeon, doesn't mean you can just say, Oh, we're sending you to your common room, when really you try to send him to the dungeon. I'm sorry. I cannot... I cannot accept that. <laughs> McGonagall was trying to imprison the children. It's amazing how... Uh, and people that have wa uh, watched the books... Yeah, <laughs> people that sat there and looked at the books, and read the words, and understood the stories, is this what you pictured these common rooms to be like? Because I know that this game took a lot of influence from... Do they live in a keg? <laughs> um, I know this game took a lot of influence from the movies and the books. I remember the developers talk about how like difficult it was to um, like put everything in the right place. Because it's never been one three-dimensional kind of thing before. Alright Hufflepuff, I don't see any parties happening in your common room anytime soon. I see like quiet time, bit of yoga. All right, who are these guys? Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw sounds a bit evil, if you ask me. Damn. He's got a fire in the middle of the room. That's actually pretty cool. So I hear that Rita Skeeter was a Ravenclaw. Slytherin delegation requests a trade. We'll take Rita Skeeter and you can have whoever the scrub was that uh, bailed during the Quidditch game with Harry in the first movie. Spin that globe. Why do I feel like Captain Holt from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine would be a Ravenclaw? 100%. <laughs> Interesting look at the common rooms. But yeah, let me know. If you uh, read the books and you, you, know, you kind of have built this image in your head from the words you read in the book, um, is this what you're picturing in the uh, game? Like, is what you see in the game here what you've always kind of pictured in your head? Or is it more kind of just taken exactly from the movies? Let me know. Uh, let's have a look. Hogwarts Legacy gameplay demo. Uh, 12 minutes, but I'll edit it down for you. I got you back. I'm gonna make you sit through 12 minutes. Unless it's all really good. And it might be. Who are we gonna be though? Can we be Slytherin? Can we go down to the dungeon and do some Slytherin in... in the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster Immediately. Let's do it! Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. That's why you should have let Snape teach the dark arts. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. All right. Crucio! You've made your choice. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? 
Hogwarts looks a lot more dangerous in this game. <laughs> Do we know when the game is set? I think it's like earlier, like... I don't know, it's back in like the 40s or something? What have the two of you done? It was her fault. Oh my god, is that Hagrid's little uh, shanty that he has? A lot of shanties in the Harry Potter universe, I noticed, over the course of the movies. So by the way, I will be playing this game. I'll probably do a couple of live streams, see how it goes. Um, but I'll probably end up just editing that down to some uh, highlight videos. Uh, probably me losing my shit when Gryffindor beats me at Quidditch. I don't know if you can play Quidditch in this game though. Hopefully we can. The fuck is going on here? We're just... Why are we lurking in the bushes? The fuck is this? This video is like 12 minutes of just ambiance and background. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of this would actually be good to use as background here, but what the fuck are we doing here, guys? What is this shit? Now, the video that I just watched is called 14 Minutes of New Gameplay was absolute garbage. So Hogwarts Legacy State of Play Gameplay Reveal. This is the video that I would have watched with my partner six months ago. So I honestly don't remember anything about this at all, other than some of the developer comments. Let's check it out. Lumos. Filch should be on top of that, man. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Is that the dragon from uh, the final movie? Oh. Oh! Cthulhu the doggo? What is this? Oh, we'll probably get a bunch of stuff from Fantastic Beasts in this, I'm guessing. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. All right, I recognize that little, um, you, can study magic and you know, to solve these what do they call those Create the witch or wizard you want to be. Squared things. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts Stand! houses. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes and you- Courtyard is the word I was looking for. Fuck and hell. As a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Who the teacher's gonna be? Who are you? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of chant. Immobilis, Percalicious, I don't know. Something, Patro Inspecto Patronum, Luma. Oh my God, I can't read any of these things. Pieta, Luca, Motor, Legit. I'm gonna be bad at this game. If I have to like say these things into the like controller, that would actually be cool. But I would also then die a fiery death. Unwork, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Yeah, you tell him, Slytherin. You may begin. I can't wait. If I get to be like just a complete asshole throughout this whole game, that is going to be some serious fun. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments and mysteries. You'll discover dungeons and secret passageways. Accio. 
as well as challenging puzzles that will require magical skill and a clever mind Sick. to solve. I do like a good puzzle. You may even find yourself in iconic locations you've never been able to explore before. That's where they make the food? Oh Christ! It's the late 1800s, Moaning so while murder the common will be rooms in there. and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win them over. Oh. That's disappointing. That I could do a better John Cleese than that. Yes, yes, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. Suffering is sure to win them over. Don't forget why I'm here, sir. Oh, that's it, not the other guy's line. Tell me, was that a better John Cleese than the one they just had? And wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. Ones designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed. Catch up? I didn't think we were allowed to take new new people into the school mid-semester. Or even like at any point other than year one. To master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting Goblin Rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts lies Goblin in Goblin Rebellion, eh? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. Oh, all right, Goblin. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. So what, you're just walking around, like, massacring people? <laughs> Is that what we're doing in this game? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Repair. Beautiful looking game. The uh, the setting is great. Not that I want to sit down and watch eight fucking minutes of it with no action whatsoever, though. <laughs> Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities, including blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Mastery of the Shield Charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon yeah. strikes. Perhaps we should teach him to deflect unfriendly spells. I love you, Snape. You to follow up with extended spell combinations. Students who become particularly adept at spellcasting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. Yeah, the gameplay looks very interesting. Jesus. Alright. Nondescript fifth level a guy. Can I be Victor Crumb in this? You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand this is incredibly to incredibly violent. your strongest foes. Isn't the whole point of the magic thing, like, not to use violence? Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your- like The whole point of Hogwarts, I mean? On your path to become the ultimate duelist. Alright, dude. <laughs> Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells, plants, and potions to increase their power. Decide which talents best fit your playstyle. Damn, there's some crazy spells in the Harry Potter universe as well. You can turn yourself into other people and shit like that. 
Could be interesting. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when cutting. Mmm, what playstyle should I have? I think I don't think I should do any silly wand waving or incantations. I might have to be the potions guy. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. Is that all potions do? Shit. <laughs> a magical plant to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate. Oh. <laughs> I remember the mandrakes. And about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter, both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. And you can just bounce around on the broomstick? Sick. Highly recommended so that you may travel around the world more quickly. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. Sick, like Fallout and stars. And over time, you'll learn their stories. Man, my partner is gonna love this shit. This is our He's gonna eat this up. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, connecting with them more easily than with humans. That's my missus. What happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules, sneaking in the restricted section again. Is Sebastian might be me. Charismatic Slytherin. Oh, over and over this boy. Hey. Is this who I can be? With a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants. Brew potions and upgrade your gear. That's cool that they've got the room of requirement as the um, upgrade station. <laughs> Nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. What is it? Peak isn't sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. What are you, big giant chunky? I don't know, devil tail cat? What was that thing? I want that. Oh, can I get Mrs. Norris in this game? I would love to have Mrs. Norris be my companion. A nearby wizarding village of Hogsmeade, where loads of shops and vendors can provide Ooh, okay. you with the supplies you require. From potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the times wander the village outskirts. You must avoid them or defeat them. So this is our disposable... Uh, <laughs> people that we can just kill off. It's fine. Wonders and areas of unusual interest. As the school year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine or coat the ground with snow or rain. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories wow. to tell. it's a big game. Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Damn right. Slytherin represent. Beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, while right. others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the room of requirement. Avada Kedavra! You're gonna Avada Kedavra somebody? Better mean it. You allies, journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover ancient secrets, combat mystical threats, Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Here in Hogwarts Legacy. Mm, yeah, right. Okay, Hogwarts Legacy. Have a quick look at this one, see if there's anything interesting. This is a pretty recent um, news update about the game. Yeah, we know it's coming out in February, man. 
the, the collector's Thursday, edition one, August that one there that comes with that. PT, I think there's like a, it comes with like a wand. I think it floats. PSC, it's like some magnetism like gimmick. Microsoft Steam, uh, as well like as the Epic Games bucks. Store. And if you fancy helping, and, I don't, and I'm pretty sure that doesn't come with the free butterbeer, by the way. By Pop Santa Monica Studios received a strong amount of community backlash from their recent God of War Ragnarok collector's edition steel case, not including a game disc. So I think. <laughs> really? You cheap bastards. Putting ancient <clears throat> magic wand levitating above the book, which I think mm. a lot of Harry Potter collectors will be going wild for. But the thing is, you do need to plug it into your mains to actually get it working. There's no batteries involved here. And whether this is all worth the hefty price tag, I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. Yeah. But... <clears throat> I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Obviously, we would all love to have one of those things. It looks very cool, but $300 redos, that's like. 250 American dollars or something like that, about 200 American dollars. In Salo, you will have the personal decision of embracing or rejecting the dark arts as you uncover his family secret. And when they say embracing the dark arts, they mean using unforgivable curses on other students, as well as potentially raising infrai, which we can also see here in the trailer, which if you didn't know... I don't know what raising infrai is, but let's do it. Is these guys? Done. Yeah, I'm keen for this game. I'll definitely be playing it. I will definitely be going Slytherin. I heard that you can uh, actually sync it up with your Wizarding World account and it will recognize like what house you're in and what your wand is and what your Patronus is and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'll am i probably do that. Link it up with my Wizarding World account. Make sure I get in the, the green and black tack and uh, we'll find out the Salazar Slytherin's dirty secrets and I don't know defecate in Dumbledore's office or something like that. Hopefully that's a side mission that I can do. But thanks for checking this one out everyone. Subscribe if you do want to see some uh, Hogwarts Legacy uh, live streams and stuff in the future because I will be doing that when it comes out next year in February. It's still a while away but I'll definitely be doing that so make sure you check it out. And as always everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace!